Linkin Park are back. One of the most exciting pieces of music news. Oh, what do you think, Tim? I can't believe it. What an absolute set that they put on. I can't believe they're back. I can't believe they've come out with a new vocalist. And after hearing that entire set, she's absolutely fantastic. I think she's amazing. And they've also got a new drummer. Previously, they had Rob on the drums, but unfortunately, he wasn't there tonight. And Mike didn't say that he'd been replaced by somebody on the night. And he's not in any of the promo material, so it looks like we've lost him as a member and he's been replaced by colin britton a producer who's produced for five seconds of summer dashboard confessional and many other bands so looks like an apt replacement i'm pretty happy with that i'm pretty happy with the whole lineup to be honest it's so good to see mike back on stage with a big grin on his face just loving life mike looked like he was absolutely having the best time delivering those lyrics again it's been seven years since the band split uh, and i think this comeback is exactly what we needed and i couldn't ask for more and the comeback is not just with new music. Linkin Park have also announced a world tour. A very small world tour, I must admit. I'm expecting to see more in the coming months. But they've announced dates in Los Angeles, New York, Hamburg, London, Seoul and Bogota. Bogota in Colombia. So they're really just stopping off at like every continent and kind of ticking off a few countries. But I am going to be fighting for tickets for London. And I imagine everyone's going to be doing the same in their given country. I can't believe how soon after this announcement the tour actually is because I think the first date is within six days of this tour announcement. And the London show is three weeks from now, I think, Mm. which is absolutely insane. And the tickets don't go on sale until a week and a half before on general on sale. You can get them with pre-sale if you're part of the Lincoln Park Club or anything of that sort. But a week and a half before the show actually goes on insane i wonder how expensive they're going to be probably very but i have to admit they did a very good job of this reunion in terms of like marketing and putting it together and the set itself everything just came out boom 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 the website didn't go down the video the live stream was incredible the set list was incredible i'm just so happy right now they managed to keep everything under wraps really well and the new vocalist emily armstrong whoa she absolutely smashed it out of the park and it's amazing to see that there is no man out there that could match Chester's unique voice. It was just so insanely good. So here comes Emily Armstrong to replace him, which is a massive set of boots to fill. But I think she did such a fantastic job of it. And I'm really looking forward to any new music that they put out. The new single has come out today as they were live streaming. And it sounds phenomenal. They opened with it and it just, it's just pure Linkin Park through and through. Kind of gave me hunting party vibes. She definitely hit the vocals and I imagine on the new album there'll be some similar sounding vocals to previous Linkin Park projects. I'm happy. I think I agree with you. It would have been really difficult to replace Chester with another man. I mean, it's obviously really difficult anyway to replace him with anyone. And it's, if anything... I wouldn't even call it a replacement. I'd just say it's a new chapter for the band. And I think I've heard a lot of people complaining about that already. But in my opinion, they should 100% be allowed to do this. Originally, Linkin Park was actually founded by Shinoda. So he definitely has the right to continue his band and the rest of the members as well that are still involved. I see no problem with it at all. This live stream was shrouded in mystery. Nobody knew what was going to happen. People had tickets to go and see it live that weren't delivered to them until five hours, six hours before the performance. It basically gave them an address to go to. And when they got there, they could park up their cars. And then they were taken on, I think it was 17 or 18 buses in total, to a completely different location that was secret, that wasn't televised, it wasn't advertised anywhere. Turned out from pictures that I've seen online that it was in the Warner Brothers studios. Um, and how they managed to shroud this in so much mystery is beyond me. They really kept it under wraps. I think there wasn't even much information leaked out that people could say, you know, that's definitely that, because there were so many different bits of information going out. We, we heard that some 41 vocalists might be replacing them, Stand Atlantic. There was a lot of different people thrown into the mix, and personally... I don't think I ever would have thought that it would have been Emily Armstrong. No, I agree. And I think in the modern era of the internet and every secret been broken before it happens, it's quite. it was quite refreshing actually to kind of turn the live stream on and actually have no idea what was going to happen. I, I was completely in the dark. For all I know, they could have announced like a new anniversary thing or some vinyl variants, but obviously they'd built it up with this much hype. I thought it was going to be a reunion and I am very happy it is. But a question, what festivals do you think were most likely to see Linkin Park at next year? So I personally think if we're talking UK festivals, Download is a big name to potentially get it. But 
will this reunion be bigger than download? Because I'm going to say there's a chance it might be. So then you've got to question whether it will be Reading and Leeds. Now, again, that's a questionable one because this is such a big reunion for such a, let's say, alternative heavy band mm. that it would be surprising if Reading and Leeds got them. So I think that leaves only one option. And that is the big one, Glastonbury. I could 100% see Linkin Park headlining Glastonbury next year. I think it'd be amazing for the festival and for the band. Have they ever headlined Glastonbury before? I don't think so. I don't think they have either. So that would just be a, a statement in itself to come back and headline Glastonbury. But at the same time, it wouldn't surprise me if they don't do any UK festivals and just end up doing stadium shows next year, which would be just as elite. And I think they'd probably sell more stadiums out. I think a lot of people are worried that they might not get tickets to this tour, but I don't think there's any reason to be worried because I'm almost certain that they will announce a lot more dates next year. This feels just kind of like a warm-up pre-tour almost. Yeah, to me, this is just continuing on the hype because they're so close to the date of this live stream. It says to me they want to carry on building up this new album and what a way to do it, announcing a tour that's in a few weeks, playing songs off that. There'll be clips of those songs everywhere on the internet. People will be searching for it. I, I really have big hopes for this new album as well I, it, new linkin park material in 2024 i would never have thought it so the new album comes out on the 15th of november which really isn't that far away when you think about it it's about two and a half months three ish and i i am so excited to hear her delivering the songs how she did she was such a a, a good stand-in for chester the way that she delivered his own songs they did um numb which went absolutely insane uh one step closer which featured a lot of uh, chester's heavier vocals you know his vocal fry and she did such a good job of doing that that i'm anything that they release i think will be absolutely fantastic if it's to go off this new song Oh, phenomenal i'm ready for it i really can't wait for this linkin park return well it's already happened oh my it's god it's here it's here Tw back 2024 what a year for music oh. linkin park are back oasis are back and there's been some absolutely banging albums released already i think this is the best i'm so excited right now i think this is the best year for music i've seen in my lifetime we're gonna be eating good in the end of this year maybe even into 2025. I think the festival scene in 2025 is going to be absolutely nuts. We've already seen some lineups come out that look fantastic. I think we're only going to get better ones going forwards. Well, if you're a Linkin Park fan, remember to like and subscribe. We post a lot of music content, especially around alt, etc., <laughs> pop punk, whatever you like. So like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace.